Meet Omar and Mary. They live in Vanier, an urban neighborhood in Ottawa. They bought a house five years ago for $325 that's worth approximately $600 now. They have two kids, six and four, and which means that their daycare payments just stopped. Omar is a physiotherapist that makes around $94,000 a year, is self-employed, and Mary is a stay-at-home mom looking to re-enter the workforce. They are bursting at the seams in the new house and ideally would like a four-bedroom home with a bigger backyard, but would ideally like to stay within their existing neighborhood and school district. Now the first step for you guys is just like last time, contact that mortgage professional and go through the pre-approval process. They'll need the letters of employer, your T4s, your notice of assessment, and if you're self-employed, there might be some intricacies that you need to work out. So that would be the most important step. And while you're at it, I'd recommend to print out your bank statements from the last 90 days or so. Print them out, go through it with a highlighter and determine your budget, exactly figure out exactly where you're spending your money and what capacity you would have to maybe increase your household payments for a bigger house. Now the next step is to go through the process of preparing your house for sale. So the first thing we'll do is we'll bring in a stager before having found the house so we can go through and figure out exactly what we need to do in order to prepare your house in the most optimal way. They'll give you a full written report four or five pages, and those will be exactly your to-do list, which you can start picking at slowly in anticipation of finding that house. The other thing we'll do is bring in a home inspector who will go through your house and provide an inspection report, just like the buyers would do beforehand. What does that do? Well, it allows us to figure out if there's any issues that we weren't aware of, that can we address it we, that we can address ahead of time so once we put the house on the market the process goes very smoothly and there shouldn't be any hidden surprises i think the first step is let's book that staging consultation and let's book the pre-listing inspection and then i'll also set up a search for you guys to get automatically updated as soon as a house that comes up for sale in your neighborhood i'll be in touch with you throughout the whole process i'll be there with you at the staging consultation as well as the home inspection and let's get the ball rolling